This is Scatter Rob, and this is first class requirement 7C. Tell the five most common signals of a heart attack. Explain the steps, procedures, in cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR. What are the signs of a heart attack? The, uh, they are persistent uncomfortable pressure, squeezing, fullness, pain, or a burning sensation in the center of the chest or behind the breastbone. This can vary between men and women. Nausea, indigestion, heartburn, or abdominal pain. Shortness of breath. Unusual cold sweats. A sudden feeling of weakness, fatigue, lightheadedness, or dizziness. Any one of these by itself may not be a sign of a heart attack, but especially if you start having two or more of these, the likelihood that it is a heart attack is much higher. Always go on the side of caution. If the person feels like it's a heart attack or you feel like it might be a heart attack, call a medical professional. Steps for CPR. First, check for signs of life. A person who's breathing doesn't need CPR. So if they're breathing, they have a pulse or a heartbeat, they don't need CPR. But if they don't have those three things, then there are no life signs. Call 911 immediately and begin CPR. Steps for CPR. Number two, adult CPR. First, place your hands one over the other, locking the fingers together. Place the heel of your hand in the center of the chest over the breastbone. Give 30 hard compressions, about two compressions per second, about two inches deep. For an infant, place your two fingers in the center of the chest. Give 30 hard compressions, about two per second, only about an inch to an inch and a half deep, depending on the size of the child. Then, do a breathing check. Only if you suspect, or do not suspect, that there's an injury to the neck, head, or spine. First, tilt the head back by lifting the chin while holding the forehead. Then, protect the airway. Clear the mouth if the victim vomits. Do not allow them to breathe in or aspirate the vomit. <laughs> Remember, CPR can be done without doing rescue breathing. It is not as effective, but it is more effective than not doing CPR. Then, step four, rescue breathing. Place a breathing barrier over the mouth if possible. Then pinch the nose and do two quick breaths, just enough to make the chest rise. So as you're doing the breath, make sure that you are looking at their chest. This takes much less breath for an infant or small child. Then repeat. Continue the pattern of 30 compressions and two rescue breaths until emergency personnel arrive or another person can continue the CPR. CPR is very exhausting when done correctly, so it will help if you have a second person to help you with the CPR. Stop CPR if the victim begins to breathe or has other signs of life. If using a defibrillator, an AED, follow the directions as instructed. This has been Scott or Rob. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell, and contact us using the address below for more great videos just like this one. Happy scouting!